Valencia's Squadron Mustafi is part of the new generation of emerging German talent. He was born to Albanian parents in the town of Bad Hersfeld, yet has never played senior club football in his adopted homeland. After three years with Hamburg's Youth Academy, a move to English Premier League side Everton proved bittersweet for the then 17-year-old. Admittedly, that was a hard time. Going abroad wasn't a straightforward decision, but it was made easier by the fact that it was a dream for me to play in the Premier League. As a 17-year-old, though, it was difficult to accept that I wasn't featuring. It felt like I had to play more because I was still developing. But I became a man in England. I moved there as a youngster, and during my two and a half years at Everton, I matured and my physique developed. Just one substitute appearance in three seasons with the Toffees led to a move to Sampdoria in Italy, where game time was crucial. It reached a point where I couldn't go on like this. I had to take the next step. I had to play. I needed practice as a 20-year-old. Having represented Germany at every level from the age of 15, Mustafi's commanding performances with Sampdoria caught the eye of Joachim Löw, prompting a period of soul-searching for the defender. Albanian national coach Gianni Dibiasi had also expressed an interest. It's not very easy when your parents come from one country and you yourself are born and grow up in another. I'd already played for Germany for the under-15s. In fact, I'd played from the age of 15, 16, until I was 21, through all the youth levels. So it was clear to me that I'd continue along that path for Germany. Mustafi was included in Löw's provisional 30-man World Cup squad for Brazil, having never played for the senior team. Although dropped for the final 23, Fortune smiled upon him. He found himself taking a seat on the plane in place of the injured Marco Reus. I wasn't first choice, but nevertheless, I gave it my all in Brazil. I tried to do what the manager wanted me to do, I tried to help the team wherever I could, and I was rewarded for it. I came on as a substitute in the first game against Portugal. I went onto the pitch and thought to myself, what is happening? How have I ended up in the German national team playing in a World Cup? There was a lot going on in my head. But after my first touch, all those thoughts and anxieties went away. A second substitute appearance against Ghana impressed Löw enough for Mustafi to start Germany's round of 16 game against Algeria, where his own personal World Cup journey would end. It was really annoying to end up with an injury. I could feel that something wasn't right with the muscle. I was in real pain. I tried to stand up, but it simply just wasn't going to work. I decided to stay in Brazil and continue being part of the team and go to every game. But it's hard when you're sitting there away from it all. Your legs are itching to run. You just want to take part and play. Despite his own frustration on the sidelines, the 23-year-old's decision to stick with Die Mannschaft paid off handsomely. He's the proud owner of a World Cup winner's medal. This is a team that hasn't set itself a limit. I hope to be there at the European Championship or at the World Cup in Russia. And I'm convinced that we have a lot of potential. But while I'm proud and it's a great honour to represent Germany, I'll never forget my roots.